right now on Hardcore Pond. You're looking at the world's largest fishing lure. I'm asking 27,500. You got a deal. What's wrong with you? This was one of those things that you never thought was going to happen. We don't sell it by the time the store closes. It's going to be sitting in our warehouse for months. Can Les unload the lure? I'm not in the business to lose money, period. The most I can do is 2,000. And later, Byron gets pushed too far. You intimidate me? What, what, what's what's happening, my man? Think you what's all that about, my man? No, no what's all that about, my man? You playing homeboy? So you know what today is? Dream Cruise, baby. There's a I know. million people out there. I know, today. I saw the line going. So what I need you to do, make sure the Bentley's out, make sure all the car memorabilia is out. Anything with an engine, bring it out. You got it. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Dream Cruise draws tons of antique, vintage automobiles to this area. We're going to be busy as hell. Good morning. Hello. Hello. I need to pick up some stuff for my daughter. Is it in pond? Yes, ma'am. You have the ticket? No, she called down here and said I could pick it up while I was down here. Yeah, unfortunately, without a ticket, I can't let you pick it up. What do you mean without a ticket? Sorry. No, no, I want the stuff. Yeah, but without the ticket, we can't give it to you. Well, I, hey, is there anybody I can talk to who owns the place or a manager or something? Me. I you. Me. What kind of business are you running? A legitimate one. How did you steal people's stuff? I'm not stealing anything. I bet you weren't talking, giving me my stuff. If you were out here, I'd get my stuff. OK. No ticky, no merchy. See, first of all, you're saying that it's your stuff. It's not it yours. It is my stuff if I come to get it. She says I can it pick isn't. it up. What I'm happening? not going to go all the way back to Mississippi, come back down here just for a ticket. Yeah. I'm here. I want the stuff now. And what's he going to do? Get I took alligators bigger than I him. I ain't scared you. of yeah, him. Yeah, but he ain't no alligator. He's just a bad mother I don't care. <laughs> hey, I ain't scared oh. of him. Is he serious? Don't touch me. Don't. You do, you're gonna see the exit. Hey, it's Come on, my man. Let's hey, man, you can't get. Hey, I want my stuff. I tell you what, big boy. Oh, hey. Byron eats alligators for lunch while they're alive. I want my stuff. You can't get it, brother. This guy obviously got off at the wrong exit. The Yankees. Time for him to hop his ass back in that truck and get the hell out of the D. Cheating low down place. So I guess wow. the big one didn't get away. We're trying to catch the big one. Holy <laughs> crap. You're looking at the world's largest fishing lure. I'm a visual artist. It's called Hooked on Michigan. OK. It's depicting a lot of the Michigan scenery and outdoors activities. Every once in a while, someone comes in with a big, crazy piece. And I figure, why not? The Dream Cruise is going on, and we're going to have thousands of people coming into the store. Maybe I'll find someone that just loves Michigan art. So how much are you asking for? I'm asking 27500 Holy My words exactly. Why? There's nothing like this on the planet. And it does hold the world record for the largest fishing lure. What's the leash you're going to take for it? I won't go lower than $10,000. So now we're at 10,000. That's a big drop. All right, give me a minute to discuss it with my financial advisor, and we'll be right back. If we're going to make him an offer, this is the weekend you're going to sell it. I see you offer 3,000. You don't go up penny more. 3,000, huh? 
Let's see if we can do it. Okay. So how about 3,000? Holy mackerel, no. I mean, that's below the cost of materials. 9,900 dollars. 3,000. It's a one-time deal. You know what? I need some money, so I'm gonna go for that three grand. Okay, you got a deal. I never thought the guy would go for it. What have we gotten into? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank nice you. To meet you. Nice meeting you. Now I have a 20 foot lure that I have to sell. But you know what? I'm always up for the challenge. I need you to come with me. What is it? Come with me? <sighs> you like this one. It's up your alley. Up uh, my alley. What the hell is that? This is an art piece. It's very cool. A giant lure? It's very cool. What's so cool about it? It's Michigan. How much you pay for it? How much would you think? Bought it for 200 bucks. No, more. 250. <laughs> <laughs> to tell you the truth, Seth, we spent 3,000. What's wrong with you? Well, this was one of those things that you never thought was going to happen. Sometimes if you open your mouth, people bite. Especially on a lure. It's Dream Cruise weekend, and I'm hoping that somebody comes in. Who is coming in for this? Dream Cruise ends today. And if we don't sell it by the time the store closes, it's going to be sitting in our warehouse for months. You watch us sell it. Goodbye. We're going to sell it. Goodbye. Well, you knew that would go over good with your brother. We're going to sell it, no matter what he thinks. Sign that for me at the end. Uh... You got any milk? You got milk, man? Tell me a little bit about it. So this is a 1957 Divco milk truck. Divco stands for in Detroit Industrial Vehicle Company. OK. And all these trucks were made at one of the Chrysler plants right here okay. in, in Michigan. Who did the restoration? I did a lot of the restoration. Really? Yes. Wow. The paint job, the colors, the seats. It's a fabulous piece. But I can't make two enormous purchases in one day. We just don't have the space. But let's see what happens. So how much you want for this? 50000 50,000. Every mechanical component of this thing has been touched by us, restored by us. It's pristine. And they're rare. I've seen what it's been going for. How much the... are they going for? You've seen them as high as 50. So why would I pay the highest? Why wouldn't I try selling for the highest? Well, you know, why would I try buying it for the highest? Good question, ain't it? What would make it appealing to you? How about a giant lure? Maybe we can make a deal and trade. Nah, I have to. I understand. So tell me what it's going to take. I can go as low as 40. So a dollar less than 40 you wouldn't take? In the mid-30s, even. It's got to be in the 30s. You won't take anything less. Mid-30s, say 35. I'll tell you what. If you took this truck at 35 and throw in the lure, do you think people just have that kind of money burning a hole in their pocket? They don't. You're not talking about some guy that's going out looking for his first vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Of course this not. This is a collector's item. Make me a Connor. 20 grand and the biggest lure of all time. How interested are you? I've already offered you 20 grand. Mm -hmm. 22 grand. I can't go to no. grand. Sorry. Thank you very much. Hey. It's just as well I didn't buy that milk truck, because if Seth saw it, he would have killed me. Take care. Have a great day. All right.
Hey, Bobby J, I got some for you to sell. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, how much am I selling it for? We pay three grand for that piece. If I can make 500, I'm good. Okay. So 3,500. 3,500. All right. Remember that major savings outfit that we bought? Yeah. That's going to sell it for us today. <laughs> Ashley bought this major savings costume a few months ago, and now I'm going to make it pay off. All right. That's OK. Good thing it's nice and cool. Make I'm magic happen. I'm on it. I don't care what Seth thinks. I got my best guy on it. It's as good as sold. <laughs> Big <laughs> fresh. Hey, how you doing today, sir? Good. I'm um, here to sell this to you guys. I found this in the ocean. I'm a treasure hunter. OK. So I'm looking for, like, uh, 1700 because that's how much it costs to fix my boat engine. Where'd you find it? Um, it was in the Atlantic Ocean, 350 feet deep. It took me like a month and a half to find the boat, and I've actually dug it up wow. with my bare hands. Yeah, I can see that. What else was in the boat besides this? Oh, there was a bunch of those things, probably about 300 of them. And that one's a special one, so it's really rare. The one you're bringing me actually has not even a gold charm holder on it. That's gold. It's gold color. All I need is the money to fix my boat. Right, so, I understand. You know, I can actually give you Silver content for it, because that's all it's worth. And how much would that be? 13 bucks. I want 1700 for this so I can fix my boat. Unfortunately, I can only get you what I can get you. Can I talk to someone else, please? This piece you're bringing me is worth 13 bucks. No, no, no. I'm not taking $13. Dollars. Insulting me. You're insulting me by you're swearing insulting at me my intelligence. And telling me that I'm going to give you $1,700 for this silver half dollar. Why, what, what's the matter? Why are you bringing this big? You're thing? bringing it. Oh, over. my god. Yo, seriously, why, why are you bringing this big Sasquatch dude over here? Oh, not smart, man. Yo, can you get out of my face, yo? Can you turn this Can word? you back no, up, seriously. please? I think you turn this word, not, It's can not a smart move, please? man. What, you going to do something to me? You, 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 you really want to go me? You intimidate me? You intimidate me? What, man? What's happening, my man? Take you what's all that about, my man? What's all that about, my man? What's all that about, my man? Really? You playing on boy? You playing? My man. You playing? You playing? You playing, my man? Calm down. Calm down. Watch who you touch, my man. Let's go, homeboy. Go ahead, my man. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, look at you. You Watch when you put your hands on. Yo. Have a nice day, man. Dicks, yo, all you guys are ass to you, touch guy. Have a good day. You know what? You guys suck. Yeah, right. What more can I say? This guy had to leave. Thanks, guys. Dicks. My dad thinks that he's going to be able to sell the lure by putting Bobby J out in the parking lot. He's even crazier than I thought he was. All right. Got the world's largest fishing lure for sale. World's largest fishing lure for sale. How are you? What do you think? This is the world's largest fishing lure. A fishing what? A fishing lure. What do you do with it? So you're not interested in buying it? No. Okay. Hey, how about you, cowboy? Come over here. How you doing? I'm Major Savings. Michael. Nice to meet you, Michael. Are you a fisherman? I used to be. I don't fish much anymore. How cool would you be with this in your yard, showing how much you love this great state? I don't have a yard. I have an apartment. Uh, anybody. World's largest fishing lure. Anybody. Anybody. Listen, you can be the best salesman in the world, but if somebody's not ready to buy, they're not gonna buy. When in doubt, dance. World's largest fishing lure. Come on over, hey! You look like a fisherman. Please God, anybody. Good, how are you guys? Good. We're great. We're here to sell some rings. We're just trying to get some cash. I would like to open a new store uh, for upstairs and downstairs wigs. Call it the Beeb and Weave. I didn't even know what to ask you on that note. <laughs> 
I'm thinking you could have like different shapes for down there. You know, maybe you want a racing stripe or a triangle or maybe, you know, all rainbow colors. Rainbow? <laughs> wow. Do you have blue hair? Everywhere. <laughs> the carpet matches the drapes. <laughs> Do you wear wigs? No. Okay. Okay. I have another question. Okay. Have you been married five times? <laughs> no. <laughs> She's here to support my cause. I'm her mom. How much do you need to start a business? How about 1500 for all? Okay. So what I can do on this one is I can do 200. And what I can do on these is 400. Yeah, I won't be able to do that that's for this too one. Low. How much would you give me just for this one? Just this one? Yeah. Four seventy-five. Four seventy-five. You couldn't have made it five. <laughs> it's fair. Is it? What do you think? Four seventy-five. Okay. Hard bargain. They had one nice ring that I was happy to buy, and I'm helping a small business. You see the word it says layaway? Yeah. The window next to it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank uh -huh. you. Good. Look at that march. Good news. Guy out there that's interested in the lure. Like, really interested. With real money? Yes, real money. Let's go. Good luck. Let's Thank go. you. They're never going to be able to sell that thing. What are you looking at? <laughs> there is no doubt in my mind. I'm going to prove Seth wrong. I'm going to sell this lure, and I'm going to make a profit. Hi. How are you? Good. Can I lure you into a deal? Maybe, if the price is right. Price is always right. So this is the biggest lure ever made. Thank you. And it's very cool. It represents everything from Michigan. If you're interested, I'll make you a steal of a buy. Excellent. I've been a part of uh, the tropical fish business for about 20 years. Oh. So, obviously, something like this would look great you know, in front of my shop. That it definitely would. But at the same time, too, it's more of a, a want than a need. So. How bad do you want it? Well, it all depends on obviously the price. Thirty-five hundred bucks. Thirty-five hundred bucks. Thirty-five hundred. This is definitely a piece of art. Um, it's a one-of-a-kind piece. You will never see another one like it. Problem is, you know, for me to ship it, hang it, it's not maintenance-free. Right now, I have a guy that's willing to do a custom sign for me. Well, what's your offer? I'd be willing to offer you 800 bucks. $800? Once you put it in front of your facility, it's going to definitely draw attention. Well, I know it ties up a lot of space. It takes a lot of space. That it does. But yeah, 3,000 is it. The most I can do is 2,000. I'm sorry. We don't That's have it, a deal. eh? I, wish I appreciate I could. you coming in. Yeah, sorry. No problem, for Thank sure. You. Yep. Kill me. I don't want to take any crap from Seth, but I am not in the business to lose money. Period. This lure is going to catch somebody's eye, and they're going to buy it. That's us. I thought too we had bad. a, I thought we had a winner. Bad. What happened? Just done. This guy was interested in the lure out there. Yeah, and? Started at 800, went up to 1,500, went up to 2,000, and we said we would break out even at 3,000, but he wasn't going up. So he offered you $2,000, you didn't take it? No. Why? It's I'm not in the business to lose money. I don't care if my dad takes a loss on this. Keeping this lure here is going to end up costing us even more money because it's going to take up valuable space. Dream Cruise is over. Now you're going to sit on it for another year. So here's the deal. I'm going to have it certified by the Guinness Book of World Records 
as the largest lure ever to be manufactured in the world. Why didn't I think of that? You that should've. That is an awesome yeah. idea. So why don't I just clear up space in the warehouse so we can store the world's largest lure? We're gonna sell it. Good. You'll see. Line up. First to look at the lure.